Good morning, everyone. Let's begin our worship with number 260 this morning. 260. 260. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O sons and daughters, let us sing the King of heaven, the glorious King, for death today rose triumphing. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. That Easter morn at break of day, the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. An angel clad, white they see. Look unto the three, your Lord has gone to Galilee. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to life everlasting. And on these days after the Easter uh, and during the octave, uh, each day uh, a solemnity of the Lord, ranking right below Sundays and Holy Days of Obligations, we pray together the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence 
when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouths of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Alleluia. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Wonderful and great are your works, O Lord God Almighty. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do you questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, 
because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. During this octave of Easter on each of the weekdays, we, we read all of the accounts of the uh, empty tomb, the resurrection narrative from the four Gospels in order. We read from the Gospel of Luke today, and we get the impression as we listen to these readings that the disciples, the early Christians, thought that the resurrection was too good to be true. Uh, isn't that what the, the verse from today's Gospel today means? while they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed. Incredulous, of course, is a word that means unbelief. And so the, the evangelists, uh, I think, searched their, their lexicon for words to describe what the early Christians were feeling, what the disciples were feeling. And so they used such words as startled, frightened, disbelieving, wonder, joy, seeing a ghost, and things of that nature. And in the Gospel today, uh, Luke is at, at pains to try to answer the question of their unbelief, and he does so in three ways. So the first is that Jesus speaks words of greeting. The second, he shows them his hands and his feet, that he has flesh and blood and bones that they as, as well. And then last, he eats with them. And so Luke is trying to overcome their incredulity and also the incredulity of future generations of Christians who will only have the testimony of the apostles to go by. Luke affirms that we know Christ is risen because we have the apostles' testimony that the tomb was empty and, of course, the appearances of the risen Jesus. Second, the Christian communities of Luke's day, scattered throughout Palestine and reaching as far as Rome, experienced the risen Jesus in the words of Scripture. And the Vatican Council has said that the words of Scripture are sacramental, that ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ. And in the Scriptures, we encounter both the God of creation and his Christ. And third, he says that we experience the risen Christ in the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. The church today knows Jesus, recognizes Jesus, as those early apostles did in the breaking of the bread. The bread broken, the cup poured out, trigger out memories of that cross, that uh, sacrifice of Jesus on the cross for our behalf. But it is not only an exercise in memory, the breaking of the bread, the presence, the uh, celebration of the Eucharist, uh, means that Jesus is present here in our midst. Where two or three are gathered, there he is in their midst. The two disciples of Jesus in the Gospel reading yesterday recognized Jesus when he, he breaks the bread and so do we today. God has done everything he can to convince us of his love for us beyond all measure, and how can we respond with anything but uh, fear and, and joy and, and wonder and disbelief at something too good to be true? But there is something else. The followers of Jesus, in spite of their incredulity, also had a mission. They were given a call. In his name, penance for the remission of sins is to be preached to all the nations beginning at Jerusalem. You must be witnesses of this. The church's message is good news that in Jesus Christ all may be forgiven, all may be welcomed into God's kingdom. And we are also, in this day and age, privileged to be the same. You must be witnesses of this.
And now in God's mercy, let us place our knees before him in humble prayer. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide her in faithfully and courageously proclaiming the truth of Christ's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. For the salvation of the whole world, may the Lord open hearts and minds to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. For all who are sick or near death, may the promise of the resurrection offer them strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may God help us turn away from the temptation of sin and choose obedience to his will, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially Gary Thielen, for whom this Mass is offered, all of those marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the fullness of eternal life in the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Almighty and eternal God, hear our prayers and answer them in your loving kindness. For we pray in the name of Jesus, who, are, who is Lord and Savior forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Christ, we ask you, please, and accept us and receive the sacrifice we offer you. Humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in the hope of your increased help from heaven. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, holy, Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, 
that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of that last supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the, the, the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity be between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Amen. the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us greet one another with a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you 
should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ for me to life everlasting. Let us pray.
Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And our hymn for exposition is a number 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 91. No, no number, sorry. Number 86. 86. O oh, saving victim, opening wide the gate of heaven to us below. Our foes press on from every side. Your aid supply, your strength bestow. To your name When our two native land we see, Amen.
Lord, please help us to reflect prayerfully on our ongoing intentions for our parish, our spiritual leaders, and our families. Please advance our prayers of the rosary to advocate for truth, for life, for justice, and peace in our world. Please grant all the heartfelt intentions we carry in our souls according to your holy will. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Rosary. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Through you, Mary, for the increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Luminous Mysteries, the first Luminous Mysteries, Christ is baptized in the Jordan. That all baptized Christians will be open to the Holy Spirit and bear witness to the sanctity of life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding at Cana. For all husbands and wives, that they treasure the priceless gift of married love by generously accepting children through procreation and adoption. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The third woman is mystery. Christ proclaims the kingdom of God and calls all to conversion. That those who pray and work for a greater respect for human life will be guided by the Beatitudes and reveal the face of Christ to others. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration, that our world will be transfigured by the witness of faithful Christians, so that all may understand the priceless value of every human being. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist by our Lord Jesus Christ at the Last Supper, that through our worthy reception of the Eucharist and frequent Eucharistic adoration, Jesus will teach us to sacrificially, to love sacrificially the least and neediest among us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, and blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. <clears throat> Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of thee. To thee do we set up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, that has mercy toward us. And after this, our excel, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same of Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, hail Mary, the glory be for the intentions of the, whole, of the Pope. For the Pope and his intentions, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Memorari to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Remember, most gracious Virgin of Guadalupe, that in your heavenly apparitions on the Mount of Tebea, you promised to draw, to show your compassion and pity towards all who lovingly trust in you, seek your help, and call upon you in their necessities and afflictions. You promised to hear our supplications, to dry our tears, and to give us consolation and relief. Never has it been known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession. Either for the common welfare or in personal anxieties was left unneeded. Inspired by this confidence, we run to you, O Mary, ever Virgin Mother of the true God. Though grieving not in the weight of our sins, we come to prostrate ourselves before your presence. We fully trust that standing beneath your shadow and protection, nothing will trouble or afflict us, nor do we need to feel illness or misfortune or any other sorrow. 
You want it to remain with us through your animal image, you who are our mother, our health, and our life, placing ourselves beneath your maternal gaze and having recourse to you and all our necessities for need of nothing more. Our Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy you hear and answer us. Amen. St. Michael prayer. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.